Hello friends, Yossi here. How are you? Today is a crazy, crazy stormy day. I can see it from my window. What's better than to stay home and do some good work, uh, call some clients and give you some information. So let's start. Today's topics are number one, scout condos versus junction condos. And number two, why is everything selling out? Why is there nothing to buy in Toronto? How come it's really selling out? I mean, we're all hearing that the market's this and the market's that, but in reality, there's nothing to buy because whatever we put in the market just goes, and it goes quick. So let's dive right into it. Okay, Yossi Kaplan, Toronto Realtor, mortgage agent with Search Realty. Um, we're looking at my Twitter, twitter.com slash Yossi Kaplan. That's the fastest way to get updates from me. Um, I just put three minutes ago, Scout Condos final VIP, 20 units left from 400. After that, I got nothing under 600K and nothing under 1200 per square foot, okay? So let's start with Scout Condos and explain to you what's going on in the Toronto market. And also, I want to talk to you about the Scout Condos deal. As well, I want to talk to you about the stockyard, which is almost done. That was really fast. Okay, so what happens? This is the junction, and you know, I've been working at the junction and doing some work at the junction. Uh, the developer of Stockyards just wanted to complete the inventory so they can just like start building, start digging in the spring. So they put up a deal with a two-year rental guarantee and a two-year property management deal. It's an amazing deal. Those units just flew off the shelf. There's literally a handful. Look at my hand. There's five fingers. So when I say handful, I mean five or less units available for this deal. Uh, the prices are good. The deal is very, very good. And the product is very, very nice. I really like it. I've been there a couple of times already with various clients. It's fantastic. And they really take care of you. The property management is real. It's a real company. It's all good. Okay. Um, down the street or up the street, depending which way you're looking at, there's Scout Condos. And Scout Condos is the least expensive, more affordable, most affordable condos in Toronto right now. And probably never again because... The prices just cannot go down because the land costs and the development costs and the building costs and the soft costs, the lower in the market and all that, they just keep going up. And I talk to developers every single day and that's what they tell me. So I'm going to follow with you here. I'm going to tell you what's available, what kind of prices. Now I can't tell you exact number of units or exact prices because developers ask not to do this. But if you want the price list, I have it right here on my other computer. I'm just reading from there, and I will email that to you. All you got to do is send me an email, give me a call, or just fill this form on my site, Urban Realty Toronto, and I'll just get in touch with you and send you whatever is left. I will be at Scout Condos this week, uh, depending on weather. It's kind of dark already out, kind of scary, but this is happening on St. Clair and Symes, beautiful place. The, the developer is very, very smart. The design is very, very good. And the prices are in the $750 um, range, 750 PSF and up, which is amazing. So um, I'm not going to point exact specific of unit and prices because, again, I was told not to do it. But what I will, I will give you a review of the building and I will give you an idea of the numbers that are coming in here, okay? So there's a handful Handful, remember, the hand is small. There's only five fingers in this hand and five on this, but one handful of units in the 400s. That means under $500,000. Now, that's unheard of. They're just not going to happen. Once I'm done with this one, you know, um, we're moving west and west and west. You notice we're moving west, okay? This is, this is kind of the map of the condos on the side, and we keep moving west because that's where the land is. That's where the growth is. You can also move east. I rather focus on the west because I see more economic viability moving west, you know, towards the airport, and then you got Mississauga, then you got Oakville, and then you got uh, all the B communities, Brantford, uh, Bradford, Burlington, da, 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 all the, the Bs, I call them, and then we go to the Horseshoe, uh, the Niagara area, that's where it's at, that's where we're going, okay? In Toronto, the prices are going to be $1,000 a foot in the peripheries and $12,000, $15,000, $17,000, $2,000 per foot in the city. That's what's happening. Now, yes, you may see on the stats uh, less number of sales because the price is so high, but that's just going to be it. Like, things are changing. It's not what you used to. If you used to one thing, if you're not going to open your mind and move on with the times, you're going to get stuck. So, okay. So that's what I'm telling you. So Scout Condos, 
a beautiful project. We have some units left under, under the 500 mark, and there's also um, less than 20 units uh, in the fives, and then there's just a few units left. You know, they, they got maybe 20 units left. That I wrote final 20 units. Probably the moment I wrote it, there's already less. The reason this project is good because, you know, condos are condos are condos. I mean, they provide pretty good living, whether you want to live there or be an investor. And what you want to look at, you want to look at your return on investment, ROI. So the return divided by the investment. So the smaller the investment, the higher the return. The higher the investment, the smaller the return. Okay? So Scout Condos, very nice project. If you fill this in, I will send you the price list. I just cannot do it online, like I said. Okay, so all the numbers are available, deals available to you. It's very, very good, and I highly recommend it. And if you want, I'll take you to the sales center. I'll give you a personal tour myself. No problem. That's what I do. That's my job. Okay, what I do is I help investors make great, smart investors investment. They work for them. So, you know, they can be two investors. Both at five hundred thousand available or a million dollars available, they're gonna end up with very different properties because their investor style is completely different. You know, they have a preference: one for the east, one for the west, for the west, one for the north, one for the south, one for a small building, one for a high building, one on the subway line, one away from the subway line. So there's no right or wrong here. It's just trying to match the investor and their economic financial ability with what fits them the most. With a feel, it's the best for them. Okay. Um, I can give you my opinion, you know, what's, what's the best, according to Yossi, but what's the best is you, okay? So, Scout Condos, phenomenal project, I highly recommend it, we got some views going on, it's trending right now, obviously, because I sent uh, some email newsletter earlier today, if you're not in the newsletter, in the newsletter the prices are included, by the way, because I can send it via email, so, in the newsletter, you get the prices, if you haven't got the newsletter, then you don't have the price, email me. I'll send it to you. This is my YouTube channel here, youtube.com slash Yossi Kaplan. And thank you very much, everyone, for subscribing, for commenting, for liking, for disliking. It's all good because it all brings more subscribers. So please like or dislike. It's, okay. it's also good to dislike. That's totally good because it brings more people in. It's very helpful. Okay. And here I talked to you about the stockyard residences. This I put this uh, on the weekend. Two-year rental guarantee and two-year property management. Very good deal. Still has li still have literally a handful of units. Fantastic project. Very, very high quality for this one. Um, townhomes to buy or not to buy. Some worst mistakes. I highly recommend watching the mistakes. Maybe not as attractive, but it is. This is Niagara. 54 units sold over the holidays, over Christmas holidays. Um, the reason is because 500 a foot... Very good, Airbnb legit, uh, property management available, Airbnb uh, management available, it's very good. And you can see here, will it crash, will it not crash, is a good time to buy. Some, some of these videos uh, are doing really well, and thank you everyone for watching. Okay, I'm going to move through these tabs and talk to you a bit about um, what's going on. So Scout Condos, and by the way, today I'm using that, that Go search engine with Firefox, so this is... Uh, Google free video today. Um, they probably have a way to spy on us anyways, but you know, start to do I also use a VPN. I'll leave a link to my affiliate ID for NordVPN. It's very good. I like it. It's fast. And you can use uh, six devices at the same time. I only have a laptop and a phone. Okay. Uh, Scout Condos right here. They'll take us to the same page. Um, the other one I search here is Yossi Kaplan Stockyards to see what comes up. And it's actually a really nice presentation. You get the video about the stockyards, and then you get some other things that have to do with Yossi Kaplan, and you get the page for stockyard, or the video right here, and then the page right here. So if I click here, it'll send me to YouTube, and then you can watch it here or the other way, but there you go, okay? So that's my video about stockyards. Similar video explaining what's going on there. It's a very, very good project. Still have a few units left. Uh, moving on, and I'm going to talk... So. Let me go back for a second here. This condo here is about fifty to hundred thousand dollars cheaper, less expensive than up the street at stockyards. Now there's a reason for everything. Junction House also in the junction, even more expensive, selling very very well by the way. Okay, it's not about the cheap ones sell better and the more expensive ones sell less. No no no, they're all selling. 
because they're all selling to different type of investors and different type of people that are looking for various investment and how they feel about the investment. Somebody wants to spend a million dollars because they found a really cool townhome in the junction. Very, very good because to get a new home in the junction, you know, it's $2 million if you find one or you buy one and you renovate it, go through the whole headache. And then, of course, it's not a condo, so it's not managed for you. So the appeal of the condos is greater and greater. That's why Toronto is selling more and more condos. And the homes, you know, they're just a money pit. So it's okay if you like to fix it yourself and if you have a limited um, budget available. But if you're just a busy person, you want a good investment, and some of these come with rental guarantee, then, you know, you go in the rental guarantee because that makes more sense. For example, the stockyards comes with a rental guarantee. You still have a few units available. So you can get two years at $4.15 a foot here paid to you. Two years, that's 24 checks, 24 guaranteed payments. You don't have anything to do about it. You can go to this page and check out the video and all the information, including the link where you can download all the information is available to you, okay? And for Scout, the link is in the email. There is also a page, but I didn't put it publicly. Uh, fill this form, and I'll send you the link, and you can download yourself and do your homework yourself and see if you like it or not. And then a lot of people call me or text me or whatever the, <laughs> this is. One more information, you'll see what you think. And I'll share with you, you know, like I always do, this is what I think, good or bad, my opinion, um, worth just as much as yours, okay? Moving on. Why is everything selling? This is YossiCapital.com. This is a new site. And with this site, you know, there's so many sites to update and just so many times a day. But what I'm trying to do is update as much as I can throughout the site and kind of give you information. And this one, I'm keeping it for now for like very nice projects. So I put rental guarantees. I put some nice townhomes. I put some pre 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 development. King West condos, for example, 85% sold at $1,500 to $1,700 a foot. Uh, 543 Richmond also selling at $1,200 to $1,500 a foot. Fantastic project just up the street from here. And this one is literally across the street. So in Gladstone, we did a few deals at $1,000 a foot. And now if you want it, whatever is left, it'll be $1,200, okay? Because it's a boutique building. And then we come to Niagara and to Brantford, here you can get $500 a foot or even less. We have some townhomes in Brantford, brand new, will be ready for June for less than $400 a foot. So for $495,000, you can get a townhome in Brantford across from a massive high school. There it is. It's very, very good. And these units here, the smaller condo is three hundred. So that's a, a, a small condo, about $300,000, give or take for just under a thousand square feet and this is a full townhome with parking with rooftop included in the price high-end materials nice wide everything's perfect and that's 495 for 1300 to 1600 square feet starting at 495 very very good all the links everything you need is right here all right why is everything selling it's it's very simple it's selling because we need more product we just don't have product so when I open, you know, I love this uh, chart. And if you haven't seen it with me, watch it with me here. This, um, the way I got to here um, is from trebhome.com, the, Treb, the Toronto Real Estate Board. Punch in uh, Market Watch, Market Watch, and then you get these two links. You can click on them, and then you get uh, the historic statistics of the Toronto prices as recorded MLS. This does not include new construction and does not include assignments. These are only resale, okay? But good enough, gives an indication. And what happened in the last three years, we have a huge jump in prices, okay, huge jump in price. And now everyone, me, you, the banks, the government, the Federal Reserve, everyone wants us to slow down a bit because what happens is there was nothing to invest in. Money was cheap and a lot of money come from immigration um, and it needs, it needs a place to go. So if you look at the line here, 2009, 10, this, this is a nice... And you can see the same happened uh, in the back end of the 80s, but I would not compare this to that because Canada's population is very different now. And anyone's making a comparison to the late 80s does, does not understand what happened here in the last 20 years. I, I don't even listen to them. Because you can't compare one to another without understanding the differences and the changes that happened in Canada to the demographics and to world economics. 
Okay, so let's let's sort that out right now. If you're still whining about these old days, you're probably old, uneducated, haven't done your homework. Sorry, guys. Okay, but 2015, you can see a massive change, and we see, I showed you other videos, how these prices went up in certain areas, but 24, 25% year after year after year. So we got to curb it down a bit, and what's going to happen? We're going to have an adjustment. The reason everything is selling despite this is because if you price your product right, people will buy it. Because people still understand that, you know, a lot of these numbers, what happened, people are at the house and they put on the market or a condo. And other people, a lot of immigrants that need to buy for the immigration or they need to get the money out of Asia or whatever they do, they just need to put the money somewhere. They come with a million dollar Canadian. It's nothing to them because it's only like 650000 U.S. You have, you know, two million U.S. dollars. That's really two and a half or 2.6 million Canadian. All right. So you need to get the money. And I'm an immigrant. I understand this because I came from another world from the east as well. Coming here, suddenly everything became cheaper. Canada is cheap. Everything's cheap here except, of course, for when you go to Loblaws. Okay. <coughs> but you can go to Chinatown. You can go to a different grocery. So that's what's happening. We have an adjustment. Okay. But this... so. In the in the uh, in the averages, you'll see this because some numbers were just way too high. They didn't make any sense. But when the numbers do make sense, then people are buying, and not na naturally the economy grows or inflates, whichever perspective you want to look at it, by three to four percent a year. That means that you need you need real estate or gold or anything else to also grow by three or four percent a year plus a little more. So now you're looking at 6, 7, or 8% for real estate, and that's good. That's normal. That's kind of a rate that I like to see, 6 to 8. Okay. Now, how do we get more? How do we get the 15% or the 20% or the 10%? It's very easy. After doing this for so many years and living in the same place, you know, in the same downtown for so many years, I kind of just sniff it. I go, man, this property is slightly underpriced. There's an opportunity here. And the people I work with, I call them up and I say, Hey, Joe, I suspect that this property is slightly underpriced. Why don't we go in here and try to grab one of these units? Because I see that the next property is coming up for a lot more. That means all the prices will come up. And that's how we do it. And you can do this in a, a resale or assignment, grab an assignment underpriced. There's some of those that are very good. They go very, very quickly. Or new construction. Okay, that's the page for the newsletter, by the way. All right, what else I got here for you? So this is DuckDuckGo. I punch in Yossi Kaplan Big King West. Why? Because this building is selling 85% sold for 1500 a foot or more. Okay, so 500 square feet, $750,000. I'm going to say it one more time. 500 square feet, $750,000 Canadian. That's a lot of money for us. But if you come from another country with U.S. dollars, it's not that bad. Because if you look at what's happening in the world, uh, I saw this list today. They rate all the all the cities. And Toronto is, you know, it's doing all right. But it's not the first line. It's it's not the second. It's it's kind of towards the end of the second or the third global city ci uh, circle of cycles. So I would place Toronto probably in the top 20, but not in the top 10, and not even in the top 15. So there's a lot of growth here because there's... 20 other international cities that are more expensive so it's it's a lot to do with immigration and with how much the dollar is and all these things and don't forget this there are a lot of canadians they still have a lot of money sitting around and you know the bank's not going to give you anything <laughs> and and everyone else really just does not treat you well and you can't do anything with that money so you buy real estate some people buy gold or stocks i don't trust these things but to me if you invest in real estate or you can loan money to real estate, you know, buy real estate backed financial instruments, not wrap over and over again, but real ones, that could be very, very good. Okay. I did this video called one bedroom, one million <laughs> video number 111. And that's a pretty fun video because I stand there uh, across the street at Big King and I explain why people are buying and spending Seven hundred fifty thousand dollars and five hundred square feet, or a million dollars and you know seven hundred square feet. It's happening, okay? It's happening and it's great. Here is the video of the Junction Top Five condos. Is it a good buy? Is it a good time to buy? Okay. Okay. A couple more things. So, uh, just to recap so far, 
Okay, scout condos, some units available from the 400, some units from the 500, and then there's a few more in the high range, and that's it. I will not be able to find you a Toronto development under $1,200 square, uh, dollar per foot after that. Maybe there's a few developments that still have some units left at 1,000 or 1,100, but they're not going to be the investor units at 400 square feet because those 400 square feet units are now 600,000. That's 1,500 a foot, okay, or 450 square feet for 600,000, whatever that a foot, 1,250 or something like that, okay? So these are good options. Uh, that's a good option because it's just affordable. This is a good option because if they give you the rental guarantee and the property management and so on and so forth. And I don't like to just, you know, blast people with just more buildings because I don't like them. I only like a few buildings, some buildings, and only those I focus on, okay? It doesn't mean I don't have access to the rest. I, you know, there's so much time in a day, and I'm really trying to find the best deal possible. Uh, I saw this somewhere, and I put on my Twitter and the story in numbers, in three numbers, 0.7% supply and 90, so the rest 99.3% demand. Okay, so the average lease on uh, Bay Street Corridor, C01, is 2700 Oh my God, the average price is just under 670 and there are no units available. Okay, so at least you know when you buy a unit, the reason it's supported by these numbers is because there's just nothing else. And you're not going to be able to flush and flood the market with so many units to bring that number down. It's just not possible. It's not going to happen because it takes a long time to design, build, and sell a building. And there's crazy red tape. It literally takes a developer between 6 and 10 years to put a building together. That's as long as it takes. That's why it's so expensive. If we could cut the red tape, and make everything more efficient, sure. But for now, we just we just don't have the ability to do it, okay? And when I say we, I mean us, the banks, the Ontario government, the developers, this giant industry, okay? So we're going. We just got to go because there's lots of people coming. I want to remind you there are a lot of immigrants. Now, they say 350,000. I believe there's actually close to half a million people coming to Canada. We're just not seeing the right number for whatever political reason. But I can tell you, a lot of these people, especially skills shortage, you know, these people, no one here makes less than $100,000 a year because this is a lot of computer engineers. Okay? A lot of computer engineers, doctors, you know, people that on the high end of the scale, they come here. And that's why you need it. So, you know, I saw somewhere that the government wants to, the liberal government wants to bring like a million uh, immigrants to Canada. Well, they do. You know, that's a third of a million right there. So 350,000, 450,000. Canada gets a million people every three years. And that's like at the slowest rate. All these people need a place to live, okay? They're coming with a lot of money. No one can come to Canada unless you have some good money and a really good job. You just, they're just not going to let you through. I mean, obviously, there's the refugees in that, but I'm not talking about them right now. So... That means people with money from other countries that can probably exchange their home currency or their U.S. currency, because a lot of countries deal with U.S. dollar, into Canadian, get 35% discount. Boom. Easy to buy. Okay? So just understand what you're competing here. This is, this is what we're looking at. That's why we need more beds. And then everyone has their you know, kids, babies, natural growth, people moving from the country to the city. It's, we just got to build up. Okay, so that's what's happening. I want to show you this map. Now, I'm not using the Google Maps today. This is the map from DuckDuckGo. It doesn't have that crazy thing I like, but it's good enough. If you look at Toronto, you see that Toronto is really the only megalopolis in the area. Okay, the nearest, closest, of course, New York, but that's like 10 or 12 hours away. Uh, there's, there's Chicago, Detroit's not really happening yet. And there's nothing else in Canada. I mean, there's Vancouver, but it's not the same. So we are the only game in town right now, okay? But because Toronto is so successful, sucking all the money and all the power, what happens is around Toronto, we have a lot of push, a lot of developments, and you see from me, that's why I'm focusing. That's why I got the brand for broker sites, and that's why I'm showing you all stuff. And if you look here, you can see it's gray because it's all built. 
and it's built right to the highway. So if you build another highway, it's going to just get built there. Wherever you're going to build highways or rail, it's going to get built. So if you look into invest, look along the rail and look along the main transportation routes, that's always good, but that's obviously the most sought after and the most expensive. So what do we do? Uh, a few years ago, people started to move to Hamilton. A lot of my friends moved to Hamilton. And uh, Brad Lamb's got a big building in Hamilton and many other developers. Okay, so here we are. And I also really, really like, as you know, Brantford. It's right here. Just keep going on the 403. It's a beautiful town. It's a rich town. It's rich in history. It's got a lot of money. It's very clean. It's got... It's got just everything you need and it's got this beautiful grand river that runs through it it sits mostly on the north shore of the grand river but it's developing to the south and then when you move west you're going to hit paris ontario and if you move south you get to hamilton and then st Catharines, niagara area okay area so if you go to Brantford brokers i'll show you quickly about this site i just put it together so still building right now we're focusing on two projects one is this one here 33 jarvis 33 Jarvis is a beautiful project of 30 townhomes, only 30, it's sold out. Now I got five assignments in here. No one else has assignments, only our group, our investors. I'm very proud of us for doing that. Um, 495 and up, 1,300 square feet, up to 1,600 square feet. There's parking, there's rooftop, that's included. Other developers sell it um, at a cost, but this is all included. Very nice finishes. I picked the finishes for most of our group. I think for three units I picked and the other two picked the, uh, their own. It's really, really nice. And then we got 85 Morel, which is a beautiful 12 and 14 foot ceiling uh, condo project. And I have a few unit, units there for rent and for sale. And those are in the low threes. Okay, These are in the top four, uh, beginning of five. These are in the low threes. Uh, this one here, Jarvis, in Brantford is across from the Brantford Collegiate, which is a giant, giant school located literally across the street. I'm not joking, you guys. Now, I looked up their site. They have about 1,400 students. That's pouring the concrete just before the snow started. That was the sales center. So here are the townhomes, and this is the giant school. Now, there's 1,400 uh, students coming to the school every day. Remember, half of these families are divorced, so they need 1,400 plus 700, 2,100 homes because half. And then we got teachers, we got staff, we have contractors, everyone around need to service the school. I heat up my place too much now because it's so cold out, so I'm hot. But I'm just going to keep going, okay? Um, so that's the Brantford Collegiate Project. I really, really recommend this. I think this is going to be a tremendous opportunity. I think, I think these houses are going to jump up the price. This is the old... Uh, a commercial industrial building it's it's gone already it's going to be ready in june of 2019 so you can see the proximity this is absolutely fantastic the deposits for these are only thirty five thousand dollars and these are some renders from the developer the project is sold out i have a handful of units here some floor plans for the uh mid units and some i have some of these and i have some of the end units and some large units too but not that many there's 30 total and i have i think five I don't know if everyone will sell, but we did five deals here, okay? So that's what I got for you today, guys. Remember, everything is selling out because, one, there's nothing else. Two, the costs are too expensive. They can't just, you know, it's not realistic to imagine costs are dropping because it's just not possible. We moved that point. What's going to happen is whoever can afford something will buy it and everyone else become, becomes a renter. Okay, and don't even start me about your pensions because you got no pension. I'm sorry, I got no pension, but even if you think you got a pension, you don't. Okay, if you look at these things, I look, those pensions, a lot of them, a lot of these pension funds um, invest in projects that crash. And then when it comes to pay your pension, you're going to get a haircut, means you're not going to get the money. So it's easier, take your money. Invest it today because tomorrow it's going to be more and it's not like it's going to dump, jump back to $200. It's, it's ridiculous, okay? Don't even pay attention. Pay attention to how you can financially secure yourself. That's what you got to do. That's my job here. My job is to find good investments for these people who get it and want to invest. That's it. That's what I do. I really like it. I enjoy it. 
I put a lot of effort every day. I put information out, so I hope you enjoy it. Thank you again for all the likes. Thank you all for all the dislikes. Like, comment, follow, creep me, troll me. It's all good. This is Yossi. Scout condos, a handful of units left under the fours and maybe a dozen uh, in the fives. Okay. Uh, Brantford townhomes uh, just on the fives, condos in threes, very, very nice quality. Uh, more stuff here, Niagara, just a few of the large units left. Okay, that's what I got for you today, guys. Uh, Stockyard, still have a few units for the two-year rental guarantee. Get at me or just um, subscribe and you're going to get the information to you. This is Yossi saying thank you. Have a great day. You'll see out.